This video is just continuing on taxable income, but it's going to look at the Medicare levy. So what we've got is we've got a definition of taxable income. It's equal to our total income minus allowable deductions that we saw in the last video. Now, um, our first question is another one of those questions. Anita uses the following information to calculate the taxable income. Wages, 3,595. 35,980, interest 569, bonus 200, so all of those. Um, so let's go taxable income equals gross income, which is the total, minus the allowable deductions. And that is going to give us, I'm going to put our income in brackets, wages 35,980 plus interest 569 plus a $200 bonus. Now these other things, cost of uniforms, tax agent fee, work related car costs, they're all, as we can tell by, um, I guess, listing them. They're all deductions. So we've got we've got two hundred plus one forty plus eighty plus two ninety eight in there as far as our deductions. Um, please note that I've been very careful to put a bracket around those things so that when I put them in my calculator, I don't stuff it all up. Um, and if you do put them in your calculator, you're going to get an answer for the whole thing of 36,231. So that's our taxable um, income. That's another question that's very the same as the ones we've done before. But let's have a look at the Medicare levy. It's an extra tax that may be payable. When I mean it says may be payable, um, everybody has to earn over a certain amount before they pay tax. If you're earning virtually anything, you're going to be paying the Medicare levy. So Medicare is a public hospital medical system available without charge for Australians. Medicare levy is currently at 2% of taxable income. In 2017, the full Medicare levy was payable to persons taxable income exceeded 26668 and then for incomes between 21,335 and that 26,668, a reduced levy was payable. For incomes less than 21,335, you don't pay a levy. Okay, so uh, then there's other things on there. Um, thresholds were higher in some circumstances, and also a Medicare levy surcharge. So a surcharge is something on top of. So on top of the Medicare levy, another charge might apply if a person does not have private hospital health insurance. So um, you have to get that 2%, you have to actually have private hospital health insurance as well. For taxation purposes, income is usually calculated in whole dollars and we round down to the nearest whole dollar. So it doesn't matter if it is if you were 20,000, say 20,500 and you earned 84 cents, that will go down to 20. 500. It always goes down to the dollar. It doesn't do our normal rounding. Let's have a look at this first example. Calculate the Medicare level payable on a taxable income of 35,908. Okay, so 35,908. It is higher, so it's simply going to be um, the levy is equal to our income our taxable income times 2%. So if I throw our numbers in there, we have got 35,908 times 2 divided by 100, and that is equal to 718.16. Okay, so looking at our next one, calculating the Medicare levy on tax we income between 21,335 and 26,668. 
that's a pretty small window that could apply to, um, I guess, you guys. Medicare levy on taxable incomes is 10 cents in the dollar for each dollar in excess of 21,335. Find the Medicare levy on 21,536. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to find our excess or amount. So let's just go, we'll call it excess. Excess amount, something like that, is going to be equal to our 21,536 minus that threshold of 21,335. So that is a grand total of $201 in my calculator. So my levy... It is 10 cents in the dollar. So for every dollar, I'm multiplying by 10 cents. 10 cents is 0.1. So my levy is equal to $201 by 0 0.1 equals $20.10. Now we'll note that this 10 cents in the dollar is a lot more than the 2%, but it only applies for that small window of $5,000. So if you worked it out, it doesn't work out to be that much. I imagine that by the time we get to 26668, um, it's the same as 2% on that amount. Okay.